that's that crack music, nigga. All right, it's your boy Crypto Blood, and I uh, haven't done a car video in a long time, but we're gonna do one today. Um, wow, just saw a message in the Veritasium room pinned by Reggie Middleton himself going over what exactly is gonna be the future for Veritasium, and I called it. I called it to a T. I told you guys that, and this was a year and a half ago, I said, I'm leaving Veritasium alone simply because, as I was seeing, the SEC, they were circling the block. They were rounding up all of these ICOs from 2017, and the writing was on the wall. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was plain as day. And I think a lot of people, they, it's not that they were stupid or anything like that. I think they just allowed emotions to dictate um, how they view things. It's crazy how the mind works and how it can, your, re, your, perceptions be, your perception becomes your reality literally and so people looked past the obvious looked past the facts and uh and decided to you know move forward with any i not just reggie any ico that was done in the, in the united states but anyway we're gonna look at um there was a video put out by bix weir and uh i'm gonna give you kind of my reaction to i haven't even watched this yet so i'm sure it's gonna be entertaining so let's see what Bix, Bix has to say but before we start if you guys find these types of videos informative make sure you like share and subscribe and click that bell to receive more videos like this Veritasium news the government has taken all of Reggie's 98 million tokens <laughs> it is insane what these people what links these people will go to um, and I don't know what it means truthfully but here it is, uh, a telegram note from Reggie himself, a note to Veritasium stakeholders. As you may know, Veritasium has been engaged in discussions with the SEC regarding its business and operations since approximately August 2017, a time where there was scant to no guidance on the topic of tokenized digital assets. In August of 2019, the SEC commenced active litigation against Veritasium alleging actions the company vehemently denied. Veritasium, through its legal counsel, pushed back against the allegations, but its resources as a startup were simply not, uh, simply no match for those of the SEC. The company eventually settled without admitting or denying any of the SEC allegations. The settlement included a payment of approximately $9.5 million in assets from Veritasium and its owners, in addition, this is the new part, in addition, the SEC took possession of approximately 98 million pause. Tokens. I'm just going to pause right there. That is not new, Biggs. That's, that was in, that was in the, the, the report or the SEC filing a lawsuit against Reggie. They seized those funds a long time ago. So that even, that's why when, when this whole thing went down, how I thought it would go down as far as the SEC coming after Reggie. Because I didn't, you know, me personally, and I've said this before, you can say to your blue in your face that your token is not um, a security. But I saw like, look, man, and it's unfair because as, as Reggie stated here, they're going after him when when he initiated this thing there were no laws pertaining to this situation you know what i'm saying and they're they're expecting you to follow a howie test well how would you know to follow the howie when this was a new asset and you, you didn't even think to follow the howie test so that was just blatantly unfair the way the sec handled that in my opinion but they did that to all of those guys. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but yes, to make this very clear, it was stated in the lawsuit, in the SEC filing, that Veritasium 
98 million tokens were taken. And so when this all happened, in my head, I'm like, well, why are people still holding on to hope when it's clear that that's when they take the tokens, it's a done deal. Once they take the tokens, it's a wrap. Like the likelihood of them giving the tokens back, allowing Reggie to then continue on with those particular tokens were, was so so low it should have been obvious and, and it, it really should have been obvious but again people let their emotions their faith in cliff high to allow them to ignore the signs essentially is what i'm saying they they ignored the signs but let's go forward with this uh video here Settlement obligations and association litigation have drained the company's capital and put it on the verge of insolvency. Thanks to the indomitable spirit, drive, and goodwill of a group of employees and contractors who have been toiling for months without pay, the company is currently working on new products unrelated to the previous products, which the company will soon roll out in beta. The company is taking the time and devoting sufficient resources to creating products which will comply with U.S. legal and regulatory requirements. As Veritasium develops these new products and services, it plans to move into new markets more amenable to the value it offers. The company can no longer interact with Veritoken and is undertaking to rebuild its reserves and launch new products consistent with legal and regulatory guidelines. Okay, so did you hear that? This is again, a no I, you know what? We need to change my name to Cryptodomus. That needs to be my name, Cryptodomus. That's what you guys call me from now on. This is the, the main point that I've highlighted and, and said to everybody. I said, look, yeah, Reggie may come back, new company. We'll probably be successful in that regard because he knows now how to navigate this thing with the SEC and what not to do and what to do. And it, it is a shame that uh, he spent that much money fighting them. I personally think I would have just, and I said this before, when they came for me the first time, I wouldn't have put up a fight. I would have settled, um, just bit the bullet and, and moved on from there. But he decided to fight it, and that's his choice. He's, he's a grown man, he, you know? He's a smart guy, he had to weigh those options, right? But what I wanted to make sure I highlight here, because I said this so many times, the token, I said that the token will not be utilized any longer. You guys are holding on to worthless assets at this point. The tokens won't be used. Very may go forward, the company, but the token is useless. Because again, if you read the document or you didn't have to read it, you could have just listened to me. When, when the first SEC document came out, I did a video on it. I, I explained it. But no, you guys don't want to listen to me. And it's fine. I'm putting game out here for free. You take it or not. But I said in the video, the SEC seized. And it wasn't anything I made up. It was from the document. They seized the 98 million tokens. And whatever was out there in the market on Ether Delta or wherever you could trade very tokens, those were the only tokens that were left. Okay, so yes, I said this as well. What what Bix just said, the tokens are useless. I said that they would be. Back to this video. We greatly appreciate the stakeholders who have loyally supported the company through its development phases and through the most recent ordeal. The company is exploring ways of including very holders who still wish to support Veritasium and its future plans and are exploring ways to do so. Unfortunately, the success of any such effort will require clear guidance from the SEC. To that end, the SEC has established a FAIR fund. The FAIR fund, according to SEC mandate, is a pool of capital represented amounts disgorged from Veritasium to compensate those who purchase very tokens. The contract for the fund's administrator is below. Please note that the contact for the fund's administrator is below. Please note that Veritasium has absolutely no control nor influence on the FAIR Fund, its operation, or its contents. The publicly available FAIR Fund information is provided below as a courtesy of Veritasium cannot guarantee its accuracy. 
And there's the uh, law firm, Samir Patel Associate, Holland Knight LLP. Thank you for your support and patience. That's a company that works through these challenging times on the way to what we hope is a monumental change in the way capital assets are moved, transferred, and traded. Veritasium looks forward to regrowing its capital assets in a way that's consistent with legal and regulatory requirements. Whoa! <laughs> on the news, Veritasium tokens have dropped 27%. You know, I don't know what this means. I mean, Vary's already in the shitter. You know exactly. Clifi's what this data always Hicks. had the U.S. government using Veritasia. Oh my god! <laughs> um, I think that's, that's what Dick uh, Allgaier's viewing <clears throat> saw also. And the fact, the fact now that the government now holds 98% of all Veritasian tokens. And they haven't said what they're going to do with them. Could they put them into use? <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't know. For Reggie, it sucks. Oh, my God. And this, and look, I, I, Bix, Bix, I love Bix. But this is the stuff you guys listen to. The government is not going to be using Veritasium. Like, where do you... I just don't, you know, you gotta, you gotta think or swim or sink or swim, whatever you want to call it is, I mean, but just use common sense people. That's all I've been preaching the whole time. Put the feelings aside and use logical sense. And if you can't do that, because some people can't keep their emotions in check, follow people that can follow people that at least give a rational explanation about their assessment on various things, whether it be crypto or not. It doesn't even have to be crypto. But, you know, it, it, and, it, and it's not like, you know, if you ever took like a calculus class or even a something more rudimentary, an algebra class or something like that, right? If you're taking a test or doing homework and you're turning in homework to the professor, you can't just give an answer, right? You can't just say, well, this equation, the answer is X, Y, Z, whatever, right? Can't just do that. You, you have to give a walkthrough explanation of how you came to that answer. And that's exactly what I did with this situation with Very. I told you guys in detail why, how, and where I gave the blueprint on how I thought this was going to pan out. Um, and, and it wasn't just a, a guess. It was, it was thought out advice. And uh, same with Pillar. It's going to be the same with PPT. Bizarro world we live in. I tell you that much. Oh man, um, let me see here. So let's finish this. Veritasium, the company, it's pretty much the end of the company. I'm sure Reggie will figure out something else. No, to it's not the end. Of, do. It's not the end of the company. The company is going to continue. It's not the end of the company, Bix. The company will continue. It will offer services, but as I've stated, these services are not going to be prime, probably not available to U.S. citizens, or if they are, um, you'll have to be accredited. So that just narrows it down, and I don't know. I don't know how he's going to play it, Reggie. He still has to be careful. That's the thing. He still has to be careful with even operating in other jurisdictions. SEC has a long, long arm. A long arm. Absolutely crazy. So let's finish this here. Um... But uh, and then you have the, the patents that he put out and things like that. And, you know, I don't know. I don't know the, the, uh, what's going to happen to Veritasium. Um, if it is true, if it is a one possible scenario is the government uses Veritasium oh my uh, to do exactly what Reggie was planning to do with it. Peer-to-peer uh, -peer capital transit. They don't need Reggie's infrastructure. They have billions of dollars, trillions of dollars. They, they're developing their own proprietary systems. FedNow, which is not necessarily a capitalist market 
um, infrastructure is more for settlement of payments, monetary settlement. Um, they're working on that. That'll be rolled out 2024. And I've said this again. This is why XRP is not necessary. They're working on their own system. I don't say, when I talk, when I do videos, I don't say stuff just to say stuff, just to be entertaining. I put thought into my opinions. Doesn't mean I'm gonna be right every time. Absolutely not. Not gonna be, no one's right 100%. No one's right 100%. And uh, un unfortunately, that's a fatal, um, that is a fatal flaw or logic that many in the Cliff High community, because we got wrapped up in 2017, you know, the bare naked re wealth reports, and you know, a lot of his predictions were hitting spot on at that particular time. And we thought, I didn't personally think, but many of us thought that he could never be wrong. And when I said that he could be wrong and he will be wrong, and I started to veer away from that group think that everything that Cliff said in his reports would turn to gold. When I veered away from that, people wanted to throw shade at me. Why are you throwing shade at me? I can understand initially, maybe. But if you actually took the time to think about what I said in various videos about EOS, look at EOS doing very well. EOS 2.0 coming out soon that's going to be a big project eos io which is a distributed operating system it's going to be huge it's going to be huge i'm telling you um but yeah it's this is unfortunate that uh this is happening but again what bix is saying is totally just i i, I don't know where he's getting uh i don't know I don't know. Uh, it's been a tough road. When you fight the powers that be with their system of rigged markets, this is what they do to you. This is the America I live in today. Hopefully it won't be the America I live in tomorrow. Um, but what this will do to current token holds, so there's 2 million tokens out there and the government holds 98 uh, million. I don't know. Anyway, you can find this on uh, Telegram. Uh, the law firm's name. I, I don't know at this point if you want to you know, file for anything, even. Because it would just be giving back more tokens to the government. It depends what they're going to do with it. I don't know. You, you should file with the government because you'll get more money back versus selling in a market where. And, I, and this is another thing I've said. I told you guys, a dead token doesn't go to zero. A dead token volume goes to near zero. That's how a token dies. It's not the price, it's the volume. Veritasium died many, many months ago when volume was under 20,000 in a 24 hour period. Volume was under a thousand bucks in a 24 hour period. That's how you know a token is dead. Not the price, but the volume. So the best thing for you to do is to, if you were an ICO participant, do whatever you gotta do with the Fair Fund Act, take your tokens, follow their instructions or whatnot, and get, I don't know what the fair value is gonna be, what they're setting that fair value at, but you'll get X amount of dollars back for that instead of holding on to a token at some point, and this is gonna be very soon, the token will not have any buyers. So the buy side, the bid side will be null, and it'll only be sellers. And when that happens, you're stuck with the token. Wherever that price is, that's when you're stuck with the token and it's, it's dead, because you can't sell it. Ah, oh, man. So I think Reggie is gonna be fine going forward the token holders are the ones that got shafted the 
No, I wouldn't. Uh, yeah, I would say the most. Definitely would say the most. Definitely would say the most because a lot of Reggie's wealth came from the token holders. So whatever the SEC extracted and took back, it wasn't. You know, it didn't didn't really hurt him. He came in with. He's leaving with probably more than he had when he came into this ICO. The bag holders, however, the token holders, definitely got shafted. And it's not Reggie's fault per se at all, um, but it is, it, is the, it is the case that we're with. Um, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. I have a, a member section on YouTube now. Join that. You'll get more uh, candid videos like this. And uh, I'm gonna start giving or withholding my real, real analysis on various things for you know for the members because people don't they don't appreciate they want to hear crystal balls, psychics, um, Dick Allgaier psychics, and this and that. That's what people. So go ahead, you can get that stuff. I you know I, I hear it's not free either, but. <laughs> But that's this is what unfortunately people like being entertained, and that's fine. Entertainment is a huge, huge industry. But believe me, I think PPT is on the way. PPT is not a dead token. PPT is not a dead token. It still has decent volume, um, million or so, uh, a, a 24-hour period. Uh, but it is. Um, it's on the it's on its way too. it's on its way too. it's on its way too. make sure you like share and subscribe and uh click that bell i'm out of here people ha! boom